Oh guys, it has been a long while. It has been so long since I sat down and did a makeup tutorial with you. Um, I don't know, like have you guys missed my makeup content? Have you been enjoying all the clothing content? Um, I'm not gonna lie, I have missed doing makeup and obviously I still do it all the time but I just find that makeup videos never do as well on my channel so I'm like, I don't know, did you guys subscribe to see clothing content or makeup? I don't know, but I'm here with another makeup video because it's been a very long time. Oh, I just dropped something. How very professional. I just dropped my whole makeup bag, so I'll actually just pick that up now. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to film a makeup tutorial. I have just quickly asked on my Instagram if there is anything that you want me to discuss. Um, obviously, the world is a bit mad at the moment. Like, I don't even want to get into it because, I don't know, my head's just going all over the place. And it's like a really, really scary time for everyone, really. Um, obviously, self-employed. Um, self employed obviously I do makeup all my makeup appointments have been cancelled so when am I next getting paid I don't have a clue so that's great try not to think about it try not to stress about it try to just stay safe be sensible um, yeah so okay so I'm gonna start by carving out my brows so yeah I'm gonna do like a this look I have done before I did it when me and Beth did a like question and answers thing and I also did it for the glossy box event and I also did it for um Christmas Eve which is a throwback but I really really liked this look and I said to myself I do want to sit down and film it um and I just haven't really got around to the chance of it my skin is horrific at the moment I think it's stress um obviously like jaw and chin spots are hormonal so you can't really do anything about those so i'm just using the charlotte tilbury magic away concealer i've brushed my brows up and i'm just underlining them um and so for this look i it's like a blown out glitzy um like winged look and i'm gonna literally be using the um see is it secret sinner yeah, the Secret Singer palette from P. Louise, and I literally only use these two shades. Um, so that's Fling and Love Struck. And I just apply Fling all through my like whole crease and like wing it out a little bit. And this is basically the main colour for the look. So I'm just gonna kind of tap it in to get that colour. Colour payoff, and then I'm gonna start to blend it out. God, I haven't done a makeup tutorial in forever. Oh my god. It makes me a bit sad. That's all I used to post is makeup. Back in the Dizzle, if you go all the way back to my like first ever videos, if you do enjoy my makeup content, then go back to my first videos and all they were were different makeup looks. Festival, bright colours, glowy, all sorts of stuff. I feel like my makeup, how I do my makeup now, has changed so much from then. And then just really making sure that it's blended. So I literally take it all, basically all over the lid. Also, I can't take my hair seriously. I feel like I look like I've got a mullet. Let's just change that. <laughs> felt like I was thinking it like David Bowie or something. I literally went to bed with my hair wet. I don't know why I do that because then it literally is like, the, it's still damp. But it dries and it's like the wildest thing ever. Okay, so once we've laid down that first colour, I'm going to take like a really flat brush. So it literally just looks like this. Um, this is a Zoeva one. This is the Jaclyn Hill JH43 brush. And I just love this to like wing out my shadow. Um, so I'm going to take the darker shade and I'm literally going to just start to apply this to the lid. Just like a winged liner. So I'm just going to push this into my lash line and just draw it as if I was drawing on an eyeliner like so and actually zoom you in that's a treat isn't it 
just so you can see a little bit clearer um, and then I'm just going to pick the shadow up on one side of the brush and I'm just going to drag this out to the side and then drag it back in again just as if we were doing eyeliner okay so we'll come back to the eyeliner again in a moment um, but the main like bit of this look is I use the P. Louise pigments. Um, I normally use the shade Poppin' Candy because it's a really nice pinky gold. But I'm going to mix the two together today. Just because I did this before and it did look really, really nice. Um, and this look, the style of this look is kind of inspired by Style by Abrahams. If you follow him on Instagram, he's a very well-known makeup artist. He does a lot of like really, really glitzy um shimmery soft eyes um so i'm literally just going to take like another flat brush you can literally use any flat brush and i'm going to take the pigment gold digger which looks like this it's a really nice gold color with like a tiny reflex of like a greeny pink and then i'm going to take the pigment popping candy which is a really nice like pinky gold towards the outer edge and the focus the golden colour on the middle. So going in with the first shade which is Gold Digger and I'm literally just going to take this all over the lid and I just really pack this all over. And in an ideal world, I'm not going to lie to you, I would have done the eyeliner um, after the glitter, but I kind of forgot. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. We can, like, if you're going to do it, though, do the eyeliner after the glitter. Um, but it's fine. So I'm literally just patting this all over my lid. It's a super, super easy look. It's kind of like fault proof. Um, so I'm now going to go in with the next shade which is that popping candy which has got the more of a pink reflect and you should see the colour difference I don't know if you can on camera but you definitely can in person um, I guess it depends what way the light hits it but this one is a lot more pink and I'm just going to pat this out with my finger and you can kind of blend that all the way up to your brow bone. But yeah, it's just a super like glossy lid look. And it looks so, so nice once you've obviously got all your makeup and your lashes on. And I just love it so much. I've been wearing it so often. Okay, I'm back in the room. So this is the eye look. It is just, I just love it. It's so like soft and just blown out, cat eye, wingy. Like I love snatching the eye and um, so moving on to the skin oh lashes these are tatty lashes tl6 i feel like tatty lashes doll lashes and unicorn lashes will forever be my favorites and um, i'm gonna go with my like last remains of my becca shimmering skin perfector this is like so close to running out which is emotional but there is a becca in my boots now so i can just pick some more up so i did put um a little story thing on my instagram just said if there's anything that you want me to talk about um just pop it on there someone has said how to make your makeup not look cakey um I would say make sure your skin is like really prepped so I've already done I've done my skincare which I'm actually using La Roche-Posay their Effaclair Effacella or whatever it is um facial wash toner and uh duo plus cream at the moment because my skin has been a bit bad and it's like dried up every spot i've just kind of got like red marks and like a little bit scabby where I just, they're like just healing um and then before i did like start the video i prepped my make my face with my l'oreal revital lift energizing cream and the herbal dynamics beauty vitamin k and green tea brightening cream for under eye um, so always make sure you've got like a hydrated base and then don't go in with too much makeup you know like definitely not too much powder and always put liquid under powder I find I wouldn't ever put a liquid over powder Um, I don't know I just feel like that sometimes can go cakey so for my foundation I'm going to mix my 
Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, Airbrush Fl Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Foundation. Um, I can never say that properly, um, and I'm gonna mix some Nars Barcelona into that. Um, so I'm gonna take like two, one and a half pumps of that. The pumps are very small that come out of that bottle, and I'm literally just gonna dot this everywhere. Um, because my tan is like there, but not there at the same time. I need to scrape it off. My hands look awful. Um, it's where I've been washing them so much. It's just like not fading off nicely on them at the moment. Um, and then we're going to take like half a pump of the Charlotte Tilbury one because yeah, I don't know. Maybe it depends on what products you're using. I have no idea. Whenever I think of cakey foundation, I literally just think of um. Dream Mat Mousse. I don't know why. Like, obviously, you're probably not using Dream Mat Mousse. Whoever asked me that, um, just don't apply too much before applying like another layer or something. Make sure you're like it's very blended so that it's like, do you know what I mean? It's sitting smoothly so that it's not gonna go cakey. So, what's everyone like? I hope everyone's staying safe. I know. I feel like if I didn't touch on the subject then it is kind of like there's an elephant in the room. Do you know what I mean? Um, coronavirus, what the actual hell. It's so scary and I just don't understand it. I'm not going to lie, when it first came about and like people started to wear masks on the train and stuff, I was just thinking like there's not really any need like what is going on and then i was in manchester for a glossy box event a couple weeks ago actually it was last week but i don't know when this video is going up um and they were saying that the city was gonna start to shut down and that um like everyone's got to work from home and i was like oh god like this is a lot more serious than i thought and then Italy got into lockdown and then I started thinking shit like I've been a bit stupid and like didn't really think much of it and then now all of a sudden it's like all my like makeup clients have cancelled um events have been cancelled like it's just all a bit mad it is all a bit mad and it is scary. It's just scary. You don't... I think it's just like the fact that we just don't really know anything about it. I don't know. So I don't really want to say too much because I don't really know much. Like, I get it serious. But I kind of like sh shy away from talking, like hearing about it. Like if I hear it on the news, I'm like, oh, like walk away because it's scary. And I'd rather just stay, like for now, just stay at home in my little bubble keep myself and my family safe and like others around me and just chill in my room and post pictures that I've got from weeks ago and film content so that anyone who's stuck indoors and can't do any work or is just needs an escape from it all could just come onto my channel sit down and watch me do my makeup yeah, it's crazy. So I actually just used the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in the shade 340 for my cream contour. Um, that's a new favourite of mine. Then I'm going to go in with my Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I really am um, enjoying this. I'm really enjoying a really bright under eye at the moment. I'm just going to take a Zoeva brush. Not Zoeva, this is Morphe. This is the JH08. Any brush that is this colour is Zoeva. Any brush that is this colour is Morphe. Just so people know. And I have the full like Jaclyn Hill collection. So these are all from the Jaclyn Hill. So I just pack this in. And then I'll go over it with my sponge as well. Just to make sure it is all blended and nice. So to set, I'm going to go in with my RCMA No Colour Powder. I just take this on a dry beauty blender. Um, and, and then again, just make sure all the creases are gone. Like I said, I've got really bad eye creases at the moment because of this bloody dry skin. So I shouldn't really be putting too much powder on, but I have to set my eye. And I just take that powder 
around the rest of my face like any excess someone said how do i start my extensions so i'm gonna film how i wave them um after this so that'll be one maybe i'll do like a little series because i wouldn't be able to do it all in the same like different stylings in the same thing because then obviously my hair would already be styled I don't like to put too much heat on it. Someone said to me, if you had enough money to buy anything you wanted, what would your first purchase be? <sighs> That's really, really hard. I feel like it would have to be a house. My first, I think, yeah, definitely it would have to be like a property. Um, so bronze, I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal back to bronze. I haven't used this in ages, but... I wore it the other day and I quite liked it. So I'm just going to go with a little bit of this. I might go in a bit with my um, film star glowing bronze, but we'll see. Yeah, I quite like that bronzer. Um, so yeah, I would definitely say my first purchase, if I could afford anything, would be a house. Um, and then probably my dream car. I'd love to move out. Or like a studio. Oh, I'd love a studio. Okay, so now we're going with highlighter. Um, I'm not too overly wanting, like, like, do you know what I mean, my highlighter to pop. So my favourite one for just, like, more of a subtle highlight. I mean, it, don't get me wrong, I still have a glow. But um, my favourite more subtle one is Heatwave, the Estee Lauder um, one. It's just a really nice golden highlight. And it smells incredible. Um... It's just a lot softer than blinding. But still gives me that glow that I need, you know. And then sometimes my inner corner, I do like it to pop a lot more. So I'm just going to go and Rodeo Dry from Ofra. Just add a little bit of that just to really brighten the inner corner. Okay, so for blusher, I'm going to go in with this really cute little mini that I've got from NARS. This is Orgasm. I love this blush. Um, it's got a really nice gold reflex in it. It's just so stunning. So I just place it on my apple of my cheek and then I like blend it upwards. And then I like start with a little and then you can add. Um, I do love that brush. That brush, that blush. Am I alright? I feel like I'm going insane. Um, so I'm just going to clean up underneath my like contour. Um, just to like, just to give that a little bit more structure. Zoom you in so you can see my brows. I don't really do too much with my brows. Let's actually just quickly change the angle. Yeah, I don't really do too much with my brows at the moment. Um, where I have got that brow lamination, I do find that I don't really need too much product in them. But then obviously at the same time, I just want to fill in any gaps. So I just brush them all up and then I'm taking my Precisely My Brow from Benefit. And I'm just filling in any sparser areas. Like so, really. And then I'll go with my brow gel and just set all the brow hairs how I want them. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the other brow. So I might as well just keep you zoomed in. I'm just going to do my under eye. I'm just taking that first shade, which is like the lighter brown. Make sure that's nice and blended, and then I'm gonna go back in with that pen that pencil brush with that flat brush, and I'm just gonna take the shade Love Struck and apply this right to my lash line. Almost like in my lash line as well. So I just sharpened my thing, and my sharpener is so rubbish. I just had to feel like I lost half my bloody pencil. Mac lip liner sharpeners are so good they get sharp and pointy every time whereas that what is that it's like some weird blunt i don't know it's gonna go all bitty now i can see it and um, but anyway this is the morphe liner in sweet tea so 
So for lipstick, I'm going to go in with Nude Kate from Charlotte Tilbury. It's like literally the perfect nude. So I'm going to add a little bit of HMB Cosmetics. Can't deal. This is like running out. I need to get another one uh, onto it. But then sometimes I feel like this can be a bit too much of a beige lip combo. Like I do love it. And then I'm going to add a tiny bit of my Fenty Glow. It's just a little bit pinky. And I feel like pink always just gives a little bit of life, you know. Um, but this is the finished look. Let's just... So, yeah, that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit all over the place. I don't really know. I feel like I chatted about some stuff. Um, but what not, I'm just, I feel like everyone's probably in the same mindset as me at the moment, everyone's just a bit, don't really know what is going on in the world, don't really know where we're all standing, um, I just wanted to sit down, take my mind off everything for a little while, and hopefully take your mind off everything for a little while, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe, um, this is what the eyes look like, just to give you a bit of a closer look, they're so glitzy, and soft, and glam, I love them so much, um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, style my hair now, for another video, so, stay tuned if you want to know how I wave my hair um, but make sure you go and give me a follow on Instagram because I'll probably be active on my stories and I'll be posting content as usual just to try and keep in the flow of everything and um, just have some kind of normality in our lives at the moment but stay safe everyone and just do what you can and just take a breather hopefully everything will be resolved in a few weeks and yeah just be thoughtful of yourself and of others and look after whoever you can whenever you can but yeah i'm gonna go now i'm gonna get on with my other videos and i will see you all very very soon thank you for watching bye